I grew up in the cornfields of Mason to several points when I was growing up. We'd have four pianos in the house. And so I'd sit at the pianos and plunk away on them. And my dad played guitar, but he was he always called himself a frustrated organ player. He must have realized that there was something there, and so he bought, I think when I was eight, a Yamaha organ, digital one that actually taught you how to play songs by lighting the keys up, you know. And I remember sitting at the organ and, and just pulling out the drawbars, you know. And so after I learned every song that, that we had for that thing, which was, I don't know, 30, 40 songs, I started writing my own. And that's what I'm saying. Because I'm already Sorry. pissed, Algo. <laughs> Your mic sounds like you're from, like, Narnia. <laughs> sounds really muffled. Ask FG. He can agree. He said you're bluffing. You're bluffing with your muffin. It sounds like your microphone's like deep fried. <laughs> I don't know how to explain. Yeah. We'll get this. We'll that. get this thing. We set this thing going. I'll go. I got five different tabs up, and I'm warning you. I'm expertise right now. Actually, no I worries. Reason, I think the reason hot dogs saying that is because you cannot, you cannot possibly put filters on your mic in Discord unless, unless you and have an outside program. Hang on. The echo should disappear now. Yeah, that's what it is. I had my stream on my phone. That might explain it. Mm -hmm. I'll go, who, I'll go, how do you feel about Michigan State's game going into this before we talk about it? Before we get into it? Uh, yeah. First thing I'd like to say. Oh, no, 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 no. This, yeah, let me fix this real quick. This is such an amateur hour right now. All right. I know why it's echoing. I have my monitor on. I was trying to fix my yeah, audio a team earlier. That's playing Michigan State that shouldn't be in the tournament. <laughs> I'm just saying. Rutgers should be in the tournament, honestly. Rutgers should be in over USC. I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm gonna say this, and I fixed the should have fixed the audio issue for me at least when I was hearing twice of myself. Well, welcome to the third annual bracketology stream. Uh, I am the host in this one. I'm your uh, host, Elgo, with uh, two good friends of mine, Hot Dog and mm -hmm. uh, Franchise Gaming TV. We commonly yeah. refer to him as FG. He's a daytime streamer, uh, NCAA aficionado, sometimes Pimp Knight, Master, and all around yep. good ass dude. So first things first things first first thing I want to talk about is uh, your teams. He's pretty good at golf. Not gonna lie, he's 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 got me four in a row. There's no doubt about that. Let's start with uh, Ohio State. Um, what were your takes on Ohio State's run in the Big Ten tournament, Hot Dog? They did pretty good, honestly. They did better than people thought they would have. I'm not gonna lie. Why do you think that is? They didn't find their way until the end of the season. There are a bunch of young guys out there. Yeah, a bunch of freshmen that came on hot, right? They came yeah. in. They were kind of like the tryhard team coming in, just trying to burst everybody's bubble. I mean, they took care of. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give Penn State this. They they're definitely better than Purdue. Penn State's better than Purdue. That mm -hmm. uh, that last sure. play of the game today was ridiculous. That was the inbounds no, play. Inbounding. That's they're known for horrible inbounding, but. Well, here's the thing, hot dog. We were talking about Ohio State, not Penn State. So I think Ohio State's going to have a hell of a future. I think, uh, you know, making that run at the end of the season is a little too, too, little too late, obviously, but uh, your future is yeah, looking bright for you doing. guys. Uh, Rutgers, FG, talk to me. I'm pissed. Yeah, absolutely. Now go ahead. I want to know why. I'm fucking upset is what I am. Uh, is Penn State in this tournament? They are. Yeah. Oh, we beat them twice. <laughs> is Maryland in this tournament? Yes. Cool, we smoked them by 14. Is Purdue in this tournament? Yes. Cool, we beat them on the road. 
Um, is Indiana in this tournament? Correct. Oh, we smoked them by 15. Why the fuck are we not in this tournament? Because, I don't know, was it not a history of being in the tournament? When was the last time Rutgers made the tourney? Last year. Okay, before that. Uh, I don't let's know. let's pull Rutgers. Let's pull Rutgers' record here real quick. I agree with you. By the way, I thought Rutgers was a good team. I thought they were a scrappy team. You know what I mean? Like I just thought I think like, the only thing that might have knocked them out. It was that end of, end of season stretch that might have knocked them out. Like the last ten, like five to six games. They, they lost like. All right, seven so we were in the games. tournament the last two seasons. Should have been three straight. It should have been three straight. So, which team are you better than as a whole that got into the tournament? Even if you beat them, the body of work, right? Uh, USC, Providence, oh. Oral Roberts, uh, FAU, Illinois. Uh... <laughs> All of the above? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I would smoke any of these teams. All right, well, uh, let's let's take a look at Rutgers' schedule. They beat Columbia, UMass Lowell, Ryder, Rutgers lost by seven to Miami, Florida, eventual 14th ranked team. Lost to Ohio State by one. Well, these are all. You're not going in order. No, I'm not at all. Uh, no, you have to go across to the right and then down. Okay, well, great. That's super. <laughs> they, make, they make it really dumb. But... Yeah, I know. That's kind of weird. You've, you've looked at this before, then I take it. I have not. I just pulled it up. Ultimately, I think the loss to Temple is a herder. Mm -hmm. uh, the loss to Seton Hall is a herder. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 43 point uh, these, effort. These are those, like, you know, in state, cross state fucking rivalry shits that happens. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, totally. All right. So we got Rutgers beats Purdue on one. Iowa twice is a herder. Mm, yeah, I was a bitch, though. Like, they're tough. That's a yeah, that's a good that's a good ass team. That I'm I have I think good things of Iowa. I think we they split could. With Michigan State, we split mm -hmm. with the guys, so that's mm -hmm. fine. Mm -hmm. um, that's not going to bother you. Too. Split with Ohio State, one point loss to them. Uh, smoked Minnesota. Uh, let's see here. Lost Indiana by six. That shouldn't hurt you. Lost to Illinois. I mean, eh. that loss to Nebraska sucks. And that loss yeah, to Michigan it sucks. It uh, let's see here. It lost to Minnesota. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, absolutely. There's some there's some sus in here. You missed the entire selection show? Well, good good thing you're here, because now you get to figure out what we have to say about the selections. Well, right now we're covering two teams that are not in the down tournament. The stretch, honestly, the last like week of the regular season down the stretch fucking sucked. Like losing to Minnesota by a point and then mm -hmm. losing to Northwestern by eight kills. That pretty much that yeah. meant so that we in order for us to make it, we would have had to beat Purdue in the Big Ten tournament, which correct one, is unfair because they're the one seed. But two, we had done it already. Like <laughs> we had already yeah, done it I, once. You went down the you went down one and two, it looks like, in the last few games against not unranked teams that didn't make the tournament. And still, I feel like losing by five mm -hmm. in the Big Ten tournament to Purdue is still like... That's way wow, better than the higher state. really hangs with Purdue. Like, yeah. And Purdue's a one seed, and we hang with them every mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. Or beat them. Mm -hmm. Like, we deserve to be there. If we were to get, if they were to put us in the same bracket, I wouldn't be mad. Go ahead, give us another shot at them. Put it, make us a nine, mm -hmm. make us an eight or a nine, so that we could go and play them again. Yeah, and I, think I should be there. Right? Yeah, no, I'm with him. I'm with him. I, the venerable I Judge Elgo agrees. agrees. I think uh, the truth is that Rockers got fucking sham sham wowed. You got fucking shamwound by the shamwound guy. But you know what? At the end of the day, it's the it's the it's the committee, bro. It's the committee. It's not me. It's the media. You know what they gave us Algo the same thing. When they gave him a last stream yesterday, the sit and spin thing. Mm, nice. Yeah, that's what they gave you. That's what they were giving us. Sit and spin. Two thumbs up. All right. So we covered Ohio State. Let's uh, for the sake of the rest of the people, let's cover Michigan. 
Uh, if Michigan yeah. um, doesn't get rid of Jawan Howard in a year, I would be surprised if they have any future whatsoever. That guy cannot coach himself out of a phone booth. He is the worst coach I have ever seen in my life with some of the with some NBA talent. I don't know what their problem is. They could have been better. Hunter Dickinson was soft down the stretch. I don't know. He just ugh. yuck. Okay, so we covered Michigan. Anybody else we want to cover before we get going? There's one team I think you should cover. Which team is that? They're in the bracket right now, and I think they're they're. Uh, should I talk about it when we get to the matchup? It's my yeah, we can. We can totally can. And so oh, yeah. I, I don't want to take up too much time. Right. No, we're How good. We got time. Other than Rutgers, who do you all think got screwed? North, North Carolina for sure. They should have been in at least. They played horrible, but North Carolina that didn't get in. Uh, did somebody North have a Carolina list of the teams that didn't get in that should have, or can at least bring up a few, and I'll make a choice on that. Vanderbilt, Vanderbilt. Did and do they have a record? Um, the ones, the ones that I've been seeing is uh, mm-hmm. Oklahoma State. Mm-hmm. Rutgers, Ooh. Oklahoma State was supposed North to be good. Carolina, North Carolina and Clemson. Clemson should have been in. Yeah, that's true. Hmm. They're, they're, Clemson had a top five scoring offense this year. Yeah. Would have been exciting. That's for sure. I'll tell you this: Purdue doesn't deserve and a one seed in March Madness. Clemson had a, a four and four quad one record, which Hot Dog just told me what that means. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, the quad, quad one? one. Quad one yeah, means quad you play one. good teams. That's against really good teams. Yeah. Yo, Landon, you're welcome to join in on the chat if you want to. You're in the you're in the uh, permissions list. We just covered oh, yeah. our teams. What's up, dude? What smoke? I think what smoked Clemson from making the tournament is the loss to Louisville, who only won four fucking games all year. The entire year? Yeah. yeah. Louisville's horrible. Louisville won four games. They stink. Louisville. So they Oklahoma State, that game. first team out. I heard that these guys were dangerous as shit. I heard North Carolina needed a big run in the ACC tournament, but they got bounced in the second round. So that killed Tigers them. blew out NC State and didn't get in. They picked and up quad one really win. Okay. Rutgers is the fact that they lost six of their last eight regular season games. Yeah, if they won at least one, two of those, they would have been in. But and especially Oklahoma last week, State had a five game slide late in the season. So, Landon, since you joined here late, we're doing the bracketology uh, stream. We're building out brackets and talking about matchups. No, no, hear me out. Oklahoma State I'm hearing you. 18, 18 quad one teams. Are you serious? And what was their record? Yeah. Six and twelve. That's still more than that, most people play. That's more wins than anyone that missed out. One quad victory for North Carolina. Uh, Alabama wins the number one overall seed. Ones. I think a team that should have made it should have been. I mean, Arizona State you did know, get in, but it should have been Clemson over them. I feel like the committee also didn't like the fact that Oklahoma State doesn't have any star power. Like their number one player doesn't average more than 12 points a game. Mm-hmm. Yes, so they don't have like, you know, they're more like even spread throughout their entire lineup rather than one guy leading the way. Yeah. So there's no there's no Kemba Walker run coming for them. Like <laughs> No, that was that was something else. That was something else, Kemba. Alga, what do you think about Marquette getting a two seed? Honestly, like I know they're really good. I know that they have a lot of talent on their team, but like Really, kind of like not a team on my radar for most I think of the that's year. I had a great pick, honestly. Marquette's I think like, always that team that ends up upsetting somebody, and this mm-hmm. time they're like, "We're gonna let somebody upset Marquette." <laughs> well, it's if it's anybody to do it, it's gonna be my boys. <laughs> Green go white, baby. Hashtag that'd Spartan Strong. Fun, like that'd be a fun game, though, honestly. Yeah, I mean, we have it, it just really depends on the Michigan State team that shows up in this tournament because if Michigan State has the ability to have Tyson Walker go off and be the guy at the end of the game to make shots, the cut kind of clutch shots that need to happen for that team to be good, uh, you get some, um, you know, maybe some good offense out of Joey Hauser because you know he can't guard a park bench. It just he sucks at defense. Doing, I know we're not doing like official picks right mm-hmm. now yet, but uh, I'm thinking I'm doing my picks. You know oh, what? You got to watch out for the fact that Vermont 
is the team playing them as a 15 seed because as a Syracuse fan, I know what the Catamounts can do. <laughs> and as somebody whose brother lived in Vermont for 12 years, I've had them on my radar all the time. The so Catamounts are phenomenal. I've Vermont enough times to know. <laughs> it would bounce like a beach ball, baby. All right, let's see here. I'm doing my bracket. So that's what we're doing. If you guys want to do your bracket uh, as we I'm go along, or if you just want to assist, that's fine. Uh, but let's let's get into this bad boy. I'll argue. You want to argue with me? That's fine. I, yes. That's what we're all about, man. We can argue. The very first oh, one's obvious. Arguing? This one's easy. The we can argue. Well, clearly no, we're going defense. Alabama. Alabama loses. Alabama loses, right? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I would love for them to lose, right? Absolutely. Stat sixty-eight point five. Points per game, or is that a point opponents point per game? Uh, who do you have in Maryland versus West Virginia? So they're allowing sixty eight. They're just scoring eighty two. Four games to top twenty five teams. That's yeah, that's hour. four games to top twenty five. I mean, they're seven and four. But we have to go. Think SEC is one of the best conferences in basketball this year, so they're playing a lot of good teams. Yeah, absolutely, I, I see no issue with this right now. I think Alabama is as good as advertised. They just won the SEC. I think they're not Tuesday losing to the AMCC or SMO. Mm-hmm not happening they just won't mm-hmm. so they're gonna move on when we got where maryland I even know the name. they're not losing to amcc or smo <laughs> i don't know who they are <laughs> why would they lose <laughs> All right, this next one should be obvious. This next one should be obvious. <laughs> who are they you tell me fg you're the you're the professional sports guy i'm just the mm-hmm. golf ball of whacker guy if y'all don't pick this oh my god maryland Versus West Virginia. I'm taking, I'm taking West Virginia. the opponents of all the teams that took Rutgers spot. So, so you're going West Virginia. Virginia. Yeah. <laughs> Rocky Mountain High. All right, all right let's see one, here. Uh, four and really eight good. versus a top twenty-five. That's that's not great. But BPI but ranked hard. Hang on one second, hot dog. Five and four ain't all that great either, though. Five and four isn't great either, but you know, I mean, mm, I still. I still like Maryland here, so I'm gonna go with Maryland. It's just my pick. I think this is. A, I think this is kind of a fifty-fifty shot, to be honest with you. Um, for sure. San Diego College of Charleston. I know College of Charleston, man. Uh, they they each have only played two top twenty-five teams, and BPI ranked twenty-fourth, and they only played two top twenty-five teams. I don't get it. 15 and 3 in conference. Mm, points per game. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go with my first upset. I like Charleston, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go with my first upset like of the bracket. Charleston, y'all are tripping. Dude, they score 81 points a game. They have the same yeah. record as at San Diego yeah. State University. They're not bad. FG sounds a bit quiet. Yeah, what do you mean? On your, stream. on your stream, yeah. He's uh, he's quiet on the stream? Yeah. He's gotta turn him up a bit. Okay, hang on. Let's go now. Turn my volume down. He hates me. No, I turned it to 100% versus 150. Uh, this next one. This next one's the one I'm upsetting. This one. Or is, do you think hot dog's too loud? Oh, I'm too loud? I don't okay. know. I'm just asking them what their thought process is on the, on the actual microphones. Yours is muffled as fuck for me. I don't know. <laughs> I'm in the bracketology. We're doing bracketology, Landon. Look down. Or is it just quiet because I have myself too loud and then the desktop audio too low? This man, hot dog, just said he wants to take Furman. Furman, is good. Look at Furman. Look at all right, their, look all at right, all right, all right. Twenty-seven and seven. Opponents' points per game. They're allowing seventy-one to so UVA. Never sixty. Played a top Twenty-five teams. So they don't BPI even ranked ninety-second. Conference fifteen and three. Uh, you know what? This is a no-brainer. I think I'm gonna go Furman. Just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm all <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Furman. Yeah, Furman for the. Do you know what? They probably will win, and we'll probably be like, really. Are we serious here? All right. Uh, let's keep on moving. Let's keep her moving. NC State, Creighton. I think the Creighton Blue Jays are a badass team. Okay. I'm not saying that they're great, but they've played seven top 25 games against two. They have a really, really tough schedule, which means they're going to be tournament ready. Uh, 14 and 6 in a conference, and they score 76. I, just, I, have, I, like, I just like Creighton. You know what I mean? I like, I like who they are. No, I like the Blue Jays. The yeah, Jays nice. I like their I, I like their um I like their mascot. To be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, this next one's gonna be hard. This next one, 
Ready for this gaucho upset? Baylor no, versus no. UCSB. Baylor always gets upset. Baylor's Baylor's always getting upset. Well, Baylor yeah, was UCSB, Baylor used UCSB to be good though. Good. UCSB is actually good. If you look at their shit, they're not bad. Yeah, their BPI rank is one twenty four. They've played no top twenty fives. Uh, <laughs> they score seventy. They score less points per game I'll and go. allow yeah, less points. Right. Baylor for the win. <laughs> they're trash. <laughs> UCSB, UCSB. That's your. That's that your upset. However, though, I would really like to see the Gauchos pull it off. But <laughs> okay, I switched because their names the Gauchos. I will fucking make fucking nacho cheese fucking dip if they fucking win. I think you just dropped four f bombs in a, in a singular. Oh, sentence. I did. Yeah. <laughs> This next one. Man, can I do I have to mute? Do I have to mute one. this for you, the YouTube's? Uh, uh, this one's actually uh, Mizzou one's versus Utah Usu. State. Utah State. Utah State has been playing. Oh, it's game. not Usu. No brackets this year for you. That sucks. Why not, Spectre? All right. Uh, let's see here. Was. Was. Mm, okay. Let's look at it here. Uh, wow. We got six and four, a winning record versus the top twenty-five. Single digit loss column, yeah, decent schedule. <laughs> you know, how the hell does Utah State have a better BPI? What the hell? You know, it's hard to say. What conference Missouri, are they in? Missouri plays in a harder conference. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. Maybe, 11 and 7 State versus 13 and 5 points per game. Mizzou versus Usu. I like Sorry, Missouri Usu here. fans. God, what do we do here? Let's take a look down here. San Diego State lost three times to San Diego State. I'll tell you the quad wins real quick. One, they, oh, Missouri beat times. Tennessee twice. Yeah, uh, got smoked by Kansas, Texas A&M. They didn't. They had a couple well, decent should wins. Should not be a one seed. I'm sorry. Look, Utah State won the championship when they beat Oral by ten. That was I'm the that better. was the championship. New Mexico won twice. It was their championship. Uh, the Aggies are fun to watch thanks to an offense that ranks as one of the nation's most efficient. They can beat you from inside and outside the arc. Uh, let's see here. If the shots are falling like they have all season, Utah State is a team's opponent don't want to face in March. The Tigers' offense has a roar that can put up points. Excuse the hyperbole, guys. Just say they can put up points, not roar. But on the other hand, their defense lacks some bite, giving back many of those points. Okay, we're going upset. Heard enough. Arizona, have, Princeton. This is obvious. Arizona is the big Pac-12 champs right now. Oh no, I'm 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 cool with Arizona. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, this is why is Princeton there, wins. And this is why Princeton they, wins. They, Did they win uh, the the Yuppie conference? No. Yeah, they won the Yuppies. They won the Yuppies. Okay, I'm just checking. They won the one percent conference. They, they won the they won the Zuckerberg conference. The Nobody, they haven't played anybody in the top 25. <laughs> okay, no, I think they, they, their I strength of schedule is lacking. Uh, Zona win win loss, uh, to beat Tennessee, San Diego State, Creighton by two. Oh, Creighton's better than we think, then. And they lost to Oregon, Oregon, however you want to pronounce it. Yeah, sorry, Princeton, night night. That's where the are we, are their one percenters right? go to die. Right or down? Are we going to the right or down? What would you like to do? I'd like to go down. Okay. Just go down. Go down to Purdue. Purdue, obvious win for them right there. He Purdue. wants to go down. <laughs> yeah, but if it was Rutgers, it wouldn't be obvious. This is not made for kids. No, just I'm just saying. I I'm going to just chat. No problem, Landon. Team. I had you in the – I gave you permission to get into the chat if you wanted to, but it, you're a little late, so it's all good. All right, we're going to roll. Uh, let's see here. Jimmy Two Blunts with a follow. What's up, Jimmy Two Blunts? Welcome to the Algorithm Nation. I think I just had to mute that because uh, that'll probably get flagged. They'll probably get flagged for copyright on YouTube. We don't even need to put this on YouTube. Whatever. Who cares? No, none of this matters. Purdue, well done. You have a human cheat code in Zach Eady. Uh, this next game is obvious to me. It's so What's obvious. up, man? Cheers. Welcome to the Algorithm Nation, man. Appreciate you, Jimmy. It's not that I don't know you. I followed your channel. It's fun to watch you drink two hearted. My man's got great t taste in beer. West Michigan's finest Bell's Brewing Company. Check it out. Two hearted. 
you have a couple of those really messed you up. Memphis, Florida Atlantic. Now I think Memphis is the most dangerous eight in the Memphis nation. Memphis is amazing, bro. They beat they beat Houston by ten in the championship. Absolutely, and they only lost by Alabama by three, Texas A M one by four, Auburn win by nine. No, this is this is this is a Memphis team that can make a run. I will I tell think you Memphis that Memphis makes it deep. That's an elite eight team. I'm sorry. How deep? Eight, for sure. <laughs> they can take it deep. <laughs> you. All right. Uh, let's see. Duke Oru. So oh, we've got Oral Roberts versus Duke. 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 <laughs> I remember last purposely... time the team we picked the prick and beat Oral. Yeah, remember that? Guys, yeah. Oral only lost to Houston by 38 points. They'll be fine. Wait, Houston lost by 38? No, no, no. <laughs> they lost to Houston by 38. Look. Oh, Jesus. I'm looking at it right now. This is impressive. Two years ago, Oru busted brackets. They lost making... to Utah State by 10. This year, the squads won't sneak up on anyone. Those Golden Eagles enter on the tourney. On a 17 game win streak. Wow, they haven't lost in 17 games and they're going up against a, a, a Duke that's redefining its talent. Okay. And they're 0 and 4 in quad one game, so Oral Robert, bye bye. Oral Roberts, bye bye. Yeah, goodbye. But it's Oral. <laughs> I know, I would vote Ohio specifically State. for the team, but we can always do a clown. We can always do a clown car bracket. Like, this is my bracket bracket. The clown car bracket is just going by colors and names. And that's usually the one that does well. (laughs) Well, I like this color. I like this logo better than the other logo. (laughs) The Raging Cajuns versus the Tennessee Volunteers. Tennessee Tennessee plays defense. uh, And they have the second hardest schedule in the country. Look at Louisiana. They lost to Texas by 28. Yeah, but we don't know if that 12. was early in the year when they were really struggling to get things moving. Is that even a thing? Right. I don't know. They I'm just the making up stuff. Raging upset. Cajuns can't even play basketball. Great is an elite rebounding team, but this team struggles to cash in on but Don't worry, points. guys. They're in over Rutgers. Oh, because they won the championship. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go I'm gonna go ahead with Tennessee here. Uh, UK Next. versus Providence. Interesting. I don't, why is UK in this tournament? They're two and four against the top twenty-five. They last sixty-eight points. They do have a tough schedule. Twelve and six in the conference. That's not bad in the SEC. The SEC is tough. We did knock off UK this year, though. Michigan State did. Well, uh, it took double overtime, but we knocked them off. But that was before we knew who we were. So Providence, on the other hand, is three and five. They score seventy-eight a game, and they allow seventy-one. This is a pretty even matchup, to be honest with you. So if there was an 11 to beat a 6, it could be right here. Um, There's no notable point uh, margins for UConn. Or what? I don't like. For Providence, the win-loss loss loss to UConn. Win-loss to Marquette. Kentucky has a really good player. Win-loss to Creighton. Oh, God. This is a tough one. This could be an upset here. I like like Kentucky because they've been playing good down the stretch. Yeah, they really have turned it up, haven't they? I still yeah, think that yeah. Providence plays a really tough schedule, and I think they have the capacity to beat UK. Well, think, but I'll go. Be, think of this: they beat Tennessee by twelve. Who did UK? Yeah. Okay, but that that, didn't, that doesn't that's, Im- that's like that that's doesn't impress me much. They also beat they also beat Auburn by thirty two. FG, what's your take? I mean, I'm taking. I don't know. This is like this one. is one of those kind of coin toss games where. You can analyze it all you want, but Providence has a nice little history of playing really well in tournaments too. Mm-hmm. No, and, I know. Uh, I'm 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 on the fence right now between going Providence or not, because you you obviously can't just pick who you expect. You know what I mean? But like, is UK good enough to make a run? Well. Providence's biggest struggles are against teams that shoot really, really good from three, and they're one in five when they lose the rebounding battle. So, uh, I guess we got to go UK. If UK is going to win, it would be for that. The rebounding. Well, they have the size, they have the talent, they have the NBA talent. You got Providence over UK. I'm going to stick with UK. Spectre says Duke all the way. Anybody else have any takes? I mean, I'm reading chat too. It's not like we're the only people here. That being said, Kansas State versus Kansas State all the way. Mm-hmm, seven and five, twenty-nine. Yep. Yeah. They won loss with Kansas. That's all I need to know. 
All right, now we come down to my team. Michigan say easy. It's I don't know why. Like I don't know why it's easy. Remember when I lost, we lost to Middle Tennessee State University when we were supposed to be really good, and we lost to them by a lot. See, I think that awesome. the problem with Michigan State is we don't have a field general, and we don't have somebody to really rally the troops when shit gets hard. So if if we don't have a kind of performance that we need out of Tyson Walker, um, you know, then I don't know what's going to happen. If we got Hogard taking threes at the end and a very broken Malik Hall shooting the ball down the line, uh, we are not going to be in good shape. However, I am not going to pick against the boys in green and white because I heard that USC sucks. I haven't watched them play, but they basically shouldn't be in here. This should be probably another Rutgers and this spot. this one, Marquette, easy, honestly. No, it's not easy, but I'm just saying Marquette's playing good right now. They beat Baylor I by 26. <laughs> lost to Tennessee by 7. UCLA, one loss. Lost twice to Arizona. Uh, Arizona State, Oregon lost by 18. Lost to Wisconsin. All right, I'm going to stick with the Sparties. Uh, this could be very much a one-and-done year for Michigan State, though, because I'm not overly impressed with their inability to manage their uh, expectations and their floor technique. If they come out when... Tyson Walker's hat, they can play and beat anybody. But if that doesn't happen, they can be a one or two and done. Marquette versus the University of Vermont Catamounts. This one's easy to me. Honestly. You know, I mean, it is easy, except for it's not, because UVM is always going to be dangerous, and they traditionally shoot pretty lights out. They haven't played anybody in the top 25, obviously. They're 14-2. Uh, they lost to St. Mary's by 26. They lost to USC by 2. Colgate by 1. Lost by 29 to Yale? Uh, yeah, see you saying. later, Catamounts. Welcome to the dance. Another uh, team that shouldn't have gotten in over top Rutgers. Right. Top right. Oh, yeah. We'll Another one. Another yeah. one. All right. Houston now. Houston, All right. the best team in this tournament. Yeah. The Likely. Norse. We do, are we even going to look at them? The NKU Norse. What, what is NKU? Nothing. N nothing. University? Northern it's Northern Kentucky. Well, I'm somehow fucking win the tournament. Well, that doesn't make any sense to me, because why are they called the North if it's Northern Kentucky? Guys. There's nothing Northern North about Kentucky. Kentucky. University is really good. They lost to FAU by 15. They lost <laughs> to Kent State by 22. And Toledo they lost by to 13. State by 21. The Norse aren't strong offensively. Well, you're saying they're not the really... The Norse are really good. They have a, they have a big-time shot maker. But I don't think they're going to have enough in the wheelhouse. Houston by 27. And that's with their B team in. Iowa, Auburn. Ooh, I haven't watched any Auburn. Anybody take on Auburn? I mean, I can look at all these Auburn, things and see the Auburn's, same. They're, they're all right. They're all right. Lost twice to Alabama. One loss with Tennessee. Uh, lost we'll to Kentucky, Kentucky by though. 32? Yeah. That, that was late in the season, too. It's Plus, we season. also have Iowa, who can score 100 points a game at will. Barely beat Northwestern. Mm. Yeah, I know. I know. Uh -huh. Let me look at Iowa. Let me look at Iowa. <clears throat> Iowa's one of the hottest teams. Here. What's up, Jimmy? My man, my man, Jimmy Two Blunts, big Iowa fan. Big Iowa fan. You know what? I'm going to pick him for them. Yo, Hawkeyes, man. One of the hottest teams in the country playing tremendous basketball at the right time. Tremendous. Just absolutely tremendous. Dude, I've never seen anything. In adjusted offensive efficiency. Mm -hmm. Look, I was, at, I was at a junior hockey game on Saturday watching that game with Michigan State versus Iowa on the road. And we had a chance to bury uh, Iowa, but we didn't get it done. And they scored so many points down the stretch, and that led to a hundred some odd point game against us, Iowa, all the way. Uh, let's see here, Miami versus Drake. Drake is horrible. Drake is Bro, horrible. What the fuck? Drake is three blocks away from me. Yeah, Drake's another uh, freaking. No, 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 no. Read the blurb on Iowa again. Go back. Read the okay, blurb yeah, on yeah, Iowa. Yeah, I got you, this man. is I got hilarious. You. I got you. This is funny. Iowa's one of the hottest teams cool in the country. Do you, do you want me to do the announcer voice? No, no, no. When you get to, like, the second, the third sentence, you'll be like, huh? Isn't that guy an NBA player? Keegan Murray? <laughs> Keegan Murray's a Sa Sacramento King already. What the hell is he doing in the blurb? 
<laughs> he's averaging 23 points a game, guys. I mean, he's pretty good. He, he, the I, ghost I, I of Keegan Murray Chris is Murray. running the tournament this year. I think they mean Chris Murray. It's his twin <laughs> brother. He's doing really good, guys. He's, 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 he's like wow, the, dis, the, disrespect the, is, the disrespect is real, huh? It's his twin brother, Chris. Jimmy Two Blunts, thanks for the clarification. They said, screw Chris. What yeah, who's Chris? Who's, the, the who's that guy? It's just, my, it's just my twin brother. Huh? All right, let's see here. So let's see. We got Miami. We got Drake. And Drake's just down the road from hey, look, Jimmy Two Blunts. Drake is undefeated against the 25 teams. They're one and over to the top. Durkey is one and zero against the top twenty five, huh? And their BPI rank is pretty tough. Their conference is fifteen and five points per game, seventy five. Uh, Miami, the U, three and one versus the top twenty five. Notable wins: win, loss, loss to Duke, Virginia by two, lost to Mar Miami, lost to Maryland. Notice how they put Rutgers as a notable win for them. Because they should be in the fucking tournament. Oh my god, that's right, man. You're just hot. You're, he's, he's just heated. He's so heated right now. It's real. Mississippi State, their only notable win. <laughs> okay, good job, Dirk. Dirk. Mississippi State. By good job, Dirk. I was all the way back in December, though. <laughs> Isaiah Wong helped lead this team on a nice run last hey, hey, season. Hey, hey, Drake is led by an experienced starting five whose average age is over twenty three years old. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, is this the D League team? The it is the D's, like the D Bulldogs, like Durkies. Let's go. Seven year seniors on the team, bro. Ladies and gentlemen, they just came fresh out of the pen. <laughs> the young have been shooting free throws in the prison yard for a long time. Now we're we're making fun, and Drake's gonna win. <laughs> <laughs> they better, you know what I mean? Why not? Devries, right, twenty year old this Tucker Devries, a dangerous shooter. Who is the Missouri Valley Conference Player of the Year? The Bulldogs take good care of the ball, thanks mostly to point guard Roman Penn, who is 29 years old, who has <laughs> nearly 3 to 1 assist to turnover ratio. That last sentence is all you need to read. Drake is very capable of busting brackets. Sold. They're going to bust. <laughs> Sold. They're going to bust all over your bracket. They're going to bust all over my bracket. <laughs> it's a law school been, smart I, I, players yeah but we got princeton losing right away and they're 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 one percenters I, this, this, i'm looking at the next game already <sighs> me Indiana. too what, what's what's the what's the foresight what say but you they lost dog? to Rutgers. they lost to Rutgers. Mm -hmm. uh, indiana no. They beat yeah. Purdue twice, lost to Kansas by 22, Arizona by lost by 14. I Rutgers like didn't show I up mean, here. Win-loss with my squad. Kent State lost to Houston by 5, lost to Gonzaga by 7, Charleston by 2, Toledo won twice. Kent State's nothing to sneeze at. I know. And they beat, mm. they, beat the, they beat the one seed of Toledo, right? They beat one seed of Toledo. In that tournament, in the the conference tournament, by like fifteen. Hmm. Hmm. And they and they were the third team seed in the tournament. And they won the whole thing. What's uh? What's IU's stud? What's his name again? Let's read the burb. Trace uh, Jackson Davis. I think he's clutch. I'm gonna go with IU. Uh uh, y'all are tripping. <clears throat> okay, you go Kent State. Then you do your bracket, man. I will. I know. I'm doing I mine. Will. Screw IU. Yeah, I'm doing Screw my you. bracket. You do your bracket, but I'm listening to what one, you have to say. You know, I, I, I like Jimmy, it. Jimmy's gonna I hate me if I pick the side clowns. I don't think I can. The side clowns? Yeah, the side clowns. Is that what they are? That's that's. Is that the Iowa next State one? Is that, oh, the cyclonics. Yeah. The cyclotrons. Ooh, we're already on to the next one. Playing game. He'll be mad because that's his rivalry, right? Because in-state rivalry. I think he's Imagine still trying to make a case board. for Drake. Imagine an elite, it's elite eight matchup, Iowa, Iowa State. <laughs> How the hell am I supposed to pick this one? I don't even know what's happening with Mississippi State and Pitt. Mississippi State's a pretty good SEC team. Pitt's all right. So Mississippi State wins that one and then takes on the Cyclones? Yeah. And then so the Cyclones. Why are the Cyclones a six seed at 19 and 13? 
Look at their oh, because they're nine and wins. five against the top twenty-five. Yeah, they beat Baylor three times. <laughs> okay, UConn lost by eighteen. Kansas win loss. They're Baylor Texas. killers and TCU killers. All right, well, I'll go with the sidecars. All right, the cyclones. Xavier, the side cards. Yeah, the side clowns. Whatever, the cyclotics. You pick one. You pick. You pick a name. I don't care. It's up to you. I like. I like Xavier in this. The cyclones. You, you just figure it out. Okay. All right, Xavier is always pretty good. Uh, let's see here: twenty-five and nine, twenty-six and eight but EPI rank. You can't possibly like Kennesaw State when they beat a de- when they lost to a defensive team by thirty-four. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, know I just looked things. at it. I just looked at it. It was like, you know, don't expect the lowest scoring game. What's going on? All right. Xavier, it is. Penn like State Penn versus State, A&M. Mm. I like Penn State here. Sorry you like Penn State here? No, you're fine. I don't know State you from that state. Good. It's good. Rutgers lost twice. That's a notable result. <laughs> yeah, because they should be here. <laughs> mm, really did. Yeah. Yeah. They're like, yeah. let's brag about beating Illinois and Northwestern twice. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Indiana. And Indiana. Illinois won twice. Purdue lost three times. Maryland split. Rutgers lost twice. Indiana won twice. Northwestern won twice. Look at the I am going to say A&M here for myself. Look at the blurbs, though. I don't care. I, I don't care. That's what I'm going to pick. They're a perfect storm of a team that grabs offensive boards, gets to the line, and makes free throws. The defense led by sixth year senior Dexter Dennis. Wait, sixth year senior? Must be COVID deal. Uh, let's see here. Penn State locked up a tournament bid with a deep run in the Big Ten tournament. The Nittany Lions shoot the ball at a present rate. Led all oh, Jalen Ping. They're three point shooters and three points are king in the tournament. So. Done. And let's see here. Moving on. Texas versus Colgate. Same record. Texas. Texas should have been a one seed. Anyway. Mm. Texas should have not lost to Illinois. Oof. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Or Tennessee, really. Look at the blurbs. Colgate isn't expected to win a game in this tournament. That's all you need to know. <laughs> <laughs> is that what the blurb said? Colgate is expected look, 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 look. to lose. Look, they, they take good care of the ball, oh. but are among the worst free throw shooting teams of the entire tournament and aren't anything special defensively. Oh well, my goodness. I need to take a, a quick beer commercial. One second, if you guys could uh, talk about the next game so I can grab myself a beverage. Kansas versus game. Howard. Discuss. Please read uh, the blurbs for me. Uh, oh, oh, he's given us a great game to talk about here, Hot Dog, as Howard is the number 224th BPI team in the nation. <laughs> and they lost to Kentucky and Yale by 30-plus points. They lost to VC by 10. to Yale! <laughs> Four, look at the blurbs, though. A leading score in all three games. 46 to an Ivy League team. They play a high risk, high reward style. And they're the best teams in forcing turnovers, but the worst in committing them. Oh, awesome. That's great. So Thank their games are full of slop, is what this <laughs> says. Yes. I'm going to look at Howard's games. Let me see. Let me see. We'll see. Uh... They, they can get as hot as anyone from three, though. That I do like. Well, they're getting well, that's if they can get hot against a fucking number one seed, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, anybody can get hot against anybody. I mean, I mean, for God's but... sake, they lost to fucking Morgan State by thirteen. Uh, I I don't know. I like somebody to beat Kansas, just not them. Uh, <laughs> uh we'll talk about the next game. Fuck it. <laughs> Arkansas, Illinois. Okay. Al, Al, I'm sorry. You made us talk about a team that lost to Yale by 46 points. I don't know why you're making us talk about them. Like, <laughs> like, it's funny. Because I'm a genius. <laughs> <laughs> Could, lost to Kentucky by 32. <laughs> lost to Yale by 46. I'm taking Howard. And- and their their blurb <laughs> their blurb also says that they're the, one of the highest in committing turnovers and forcing turnovers. So basically, their games are a slop fest. <laughs> <laughs> the Bison had a different leading scorer in all three their, games their during games, the run. Their games aren't put on by the NCAA. They're put on by the lunch lady from Billy Madison. Have some more sloppy joes. <laughs> sloppy joe, slap, sloppy joe, yeah. Hold on, hold on. There's a notable result. They beat 
Gallaudet by 44 points. Gallaudet? Oh, man, what a school. And, and Gallaudet is an FCS team, I'm pretty sure. Anyway. <laughs> They've lost a I mean, Gallaudet is. So. I mean, Gallaudet is pretty legit, though. You gotta admit, hell of a hell Gallaudet of a slap shot. A losing record. <laughs> <laughs> and they lost the fucking. I don't know who the hell this is, but they lost to them. They lost to Wyoming by seven. Belmont by thirty. No, twenty three. They lost to fucking Hampton by nine. And Yale by forty six. <laughs> yeah. You know, this next game, I don't really know who to pick because I don't like either of them. Arkansas. Like Arkansas. Arkansas for Illinois. I like Arkansas. You like Arkansas on this one? I don't know. They both seem equally crap. Two and eight versus the top 25. Arkansas clearly can't get it done against the big dogs. Tough schedule, Arkansas though. not bad, though. I'll, I'll tell you who they, who they beat in the top 25. Conference is 8 out of 10. Lost to Alabama twice. Lost to Creighton. Lost to Tennessee. So every one of their notable games is a loss? Yeah, they lost three No, 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 no. no. They, they beat Kentucky once out of two. They beat A&M once out of three. They beat Missouri once out of two. And they beat San Diego State by four. Hmm. Convincing. OT. And OT. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Meanwhile, Illinois is beating UCLA by nine. Texas by seven. Michigan State by nine. You got bigger wins. Mm. Also, also here, think about this. Illinois or Arkansas? Arkansas lost three top 25 games in a row. Okay. They lost to Alabama by three. Tennessee by 20, no, 18. No, 18. And <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, with your 2023 selection, Algo is going to select right. Illinois. I don't this know. Next one, this next one's actually pretty hard. <laughs> this next one's I don't hard. know. Ooh, this the one bird- says... This one's the, the blurb <laughs> says that Illinois struggles offensively and they're among the worst three point and free throw shooting teams in the land. I don't like Didn't that. I'm not I saying they're going to get far, but I think they're going to beat Arkansas two and eight against if the you elite can't competition. Shoot a three or make a free throw, you're not winning a tournament game. Um, Did you say tournament or tournament? Turn, torn, either one. <laughs> apples, apples. Potatoes, Orange. potatoes. 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 What about Christian? What about this next game? Right, let's do it. Oh, VCU. Oh, Virginia VCU. Commonwealth, 27 and 7, allowing a 0 0 Ooh. record against top 25 teams. They have literally played nobody. But a really tough VCU schedule? It has everything you look for in a Cinderella team, though. Is that what it says? Ooh, the Rams have everything you look for. They are strong defensively, able to force bundles of turnovers. Not just a couple, but mm. bundles. I like bundles. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I just spit all over my microphone. Thanks. You got like bum by like bundles. VCU does tend to struggle SMC for land, and VCU does tend to struggle taking and making three pointers. But junior David Shriver is the lone exception. Firepower to turn some heads, huh? The Rams are big and athletic up front thanks to junior point guard Adrian Baldwin Jr. and have the firepower to turn some heads. But they only have one good three point shooter, so what does that mean? Also, it's, it's that means he's going to knock down four of five, and they're going to win. <laughs> I, uh, Mary's Coach the best Randy Bennett's in, squad. In Coach Randy Bennett's squad makes the tournament for the second straight season. The Gales. Ooh, I, I, Ooh, like, I like this team. I like this. Just I, picking everything I'm not picking on purpose. Um, they pressure the ball, block shots, rebound, slow down the pace of the game. Johnson and fellow. That's going to be really tough for David David Schreiber to take over a game if they're really good defensively on the arc. UConn, the one lone three-point shooter for VCU. But if, they, but if they aren't making their shots, it's going to be a very long night for St. Mary's. That doesn't tell me anything. Just, Rick, they lost. Rick Pitino's ready to go, guys. He's fired up his squad. They beat with Gonzaga once. San Diego State, Oral Roberts, Vanderbilt, North Texas, they won by 30. Oh. God damn, this is a tough one, boys. Uh, this is a tough Which one. one. This one's a tough one. I'm going to go with the 12 here. I'm going to go with the VCU over the St. Mary's because they obviously don't put up very many points, good defensively, and the one lone shooter for VCU is going to be able to take them out. <laughs> yeah, look at the next one. This, the, the blurb on the Yukon Iona one again is so funny. The Yukon Iona? Uh, no. Do we even need to look at this one? It's, it's you should. I mean, they won. They beat Vermont by twenty-one. Iona beat. 
They're the Gales as well? St. Mary's is the same team? Or same uh, yeah, same mascot? <clears throat> Let's go to chat on this one. Who who are you thinking? UConn or Iona? Why? UConn, Rick Pitino's squad right. is headed to the tournament with a world of momentum, Fuck having not lost since January. The classic Patino trademarks are here. Cheat. Scandal, man. <laughs> Cheat. Scandal, man. <laughs> Scandal. Cheat. You ain't cheating, you ain't trying. It's the old uh, Nick Saban adage. They avoid turnovers while their pesky defense forces deflections. Mac Player of the Year, Walter Clayton Jr. is an efficient scorer from the field as well as the nation's most accurate free throw shooter. The Mac champs could run into trouble against teams that could break their press and out hustle them. Unranked to start the season, Coach Dan Hurley's squad opened 14 0 before settling into the conference schedule. UConn is the nation's best team of on offensive glass making center Adonis Anaogo, a key player to watch. The Huskies also boast a reliable offense inside and outside the arc. And refuse uh, 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 foul trouble, uh, but they have depth. Uh, see, yeah, it's I think on. it's clear. Next, this next one I like a lot. Or, mm, what okay, do you like a lot? Can I just can <laughs> you can because who the fuck is Iona? <laughs> can I just say to Landon, if you don't know who Iona is, you don't watch the tournament every year because since 2013 they've only missed in actually since 2012 they've only missed in 14, 15, and 20. So <laughs> he's a kid, man. He's not they a kid. Is he? He's almost man? every year, meaning you pay zero attention. Uh, well, he is a Michigan fan, so. <laughs> Woo! I don't know. They've never won. They've never won an opening round game, by the way. Iona. So it, they won't. Iona or ASU Nevada? Yeah, they they have not won any of these opening oh. round games. They make it every year mm. as a double digit seed, but they they won't make they won't win. Yeah, no, I I got you. It's over. We're, we've moved on. While the Horn Frogs also, are strong yeah, defensively yeah. and force high amount of turnovers, their offensive production has been questionable. TCU struggles to make three pointers and spot up shots. However, they have excelled at creating second chance points and have a high rebounding rate. Led by Mike Miles, the Horned Frogs have a chance to make it far in the tournament if they can fix their shooting issues. You know what's important in tournaments? Shooting. Do you know what's important in basketball? Shooting. What, can, what do we know about ASU or Nevada? Are either of those teams capable of taking down the Horn Frogs, or are they just here because uh, the playoff, the football playoff committee? I mean, who are the two teams? That they're I'm going to take the 11. Them? You're going to take ASU Nevada? Yeah, I don't care who it is. Do you just not like TCU? TCU can't shoot. I mean, that's what they say. They only they're averaging seventy five a game though, nine and nine in the conference and six and seven versus the top twenty five. Ah, I can't bet against Jesus though. I gotta go Texas Christian University. You know, I just can't do it. Obvious. Gonzaga. Obvious. Yeah. Can we just move on? I I already have two sixes, and mm-hmm. in the last however many years or There's, whatever, yeah, it always. Like, Sixes feel that. don't do a good job, so. Yeah, where am I at in my sixes? Uh, I have sixes going into the next round. Do I have, any, I have all my sixes in the next round. Or is it? It's, uh, wow, yeah. I am not 11, in a great space. 11 seeds since 2014 have won 58% of the time. Well, golly gee. And in those last eight years, six seeds have won at least three. So you're telling me I should have taken Providence, huh? Time. So you're telling me I should have taken Providence over UK? Maybe. Oh, interesting. If, uh, if, if that's Creighton the versus North Carolina play. State, I mean, it could have been Creighton, but I like Creighton. I'm not, I'm not changing. <laughs> you I'm can good. change it. You know, it's not official yet. It's not official. I know it's, I can change it at any time, but, like, I, wanna, I want this one to just stick. You know what I mean? This is the first analysis. This is with the friends. Like the spunk of the oh, world. and FG, I was six years old in 2012. He's giving, he's giving you lip back, homie. He's giving hey, yo, back. yeah, he wants to fade. You youngin, <laughs> you see, he's only 16. Leave him alone. Sure. <laughs> what do you know? I mean, <laughs> shit, hot dog is like that age, right? No, you're older than that. All right, all right, all right. He yeah. was, he was six in 2012. We'll cut him a little slack. How old were you in 2016? <laughs> we'll just do it. Let him do some math here, real quick. 
Three, the one, two, what? The one, the two. Carry the four. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, uh, it's, is this long division? Remainder of four. Hey, hey, hey you got it right. All right, Boise State, twenty-four and nine against Northwestern. Northwestern is four and one against the top twenty-five. Mm -hmm. They beat Purdue by six. Mm, they don't. They it's play good defense. Seven. They're 12 and 8 in the conference, our conference, the Big Ten. Here's the question Is the Big Ten conference actually good or are we overrated as hell? That's my real big question. Uh, lost by Maryland by 16, beat Indiana twice. Illinois beat us. Let's try to do Bowie. Hey, Bowie's a badass. Mm, yeah, Boise State's on a, on a losing streak here. Um, I'm picking Boise because I love them. Do you do you like them because you did a, a the dynasty? And no, they're like my football team, bro. Are they like your fucking football team? Your college football team? Yeah, other than like, Rutgers, I like Boise. Vo okay, did you like them because of the the one dude that was crazy, or their blue field? Uh, both. <laughs> I kind of Northwestern. Northwestern's gonna wear them down. I gotta go Northwestern. I caught them when they started being good, right before they actually got, you know, selected to go to the Fiesta Bowl, and they won that game with the Statue of Liberty thing. That's that's when I liked them. Okay, I got you. Yeah, this one's easy. This let's just let's just move on. Okay, so right now we don't have any really existential crises in the in the upsets here, other than Usu over Missouri, and I don't have anybody really. Oh, I've, our biggest upset is College of Charleston. College of Charleston. Why did we end up going this route? They lost North Carolina by 16. Beat Virginia Tech and Kent State. Uh, San Diego State University, 27-6. and six, Beat Utah State 3. Damn. Why the shit did I go College of Charleston? Man, that's so wrong. Oh, man. I don't know. I like this weird team. Which one? This this fifteen that's playing UCLA. I don't even know who the fuck that is. UNC. Oh, did you go down and look at it? I did. I looked at what they're saying about them. Well, would you just look at what? it? Will you just look at that? Would you just look at the it. The Bulldogs have plenty of experience and are among the nation's best in three point percentage. They are led by a versatile six eleven player. Drew Pember. Oh, I know Drew Pember. He was a points a game, nine boards, and he's drawn more fouls than any player of the nation and shoots thirty seven percent from three. Jesus. A six foot five shooting, shooting guard, guard who averages fifteen points a game and shoots forty six percent from three. Oh serves God. as a dangerous sidekick. Turnovers and rebounding have been problematic at times, so they'll have to be buttoned up in order to pull off a major upset. Oh God. I, I, I mean, like those two like guys sound really good. But... I like UNCA over them. No. I do. I mean well, I know who Drew Pember is. He was a didn't he transfer? Where did Drew Pember transfer from? I know the name. Drew Pember transfer. So Tennessee basketball transfer, Drew Pember. Yeah. Okay, so he was a five-star recruit for center for Tennessee. But is Akla that bad that they're going to get lifted by a 15? They don't allow anybody to score, and they score 73 points a game. They're 18 and 2 in their conference. They're 3 and 4 against the top 25. Their BPI rank is 4. Eh. Let me look at them. Let me look at them. You know what? If you want to pull that one off, that's your, up to you. I'm still going with Akla. Just because uh, Akla is notoriously know, dangerous. Like... True There's Pember. always somebody. That's the thing. I know, but who are you going to pick? You're going to pick, the, if anybody, you pick the Catamounts, right? Mm. Unka? Well, if we're going to go with 15s, like Princeton, Princeton against Arizona, or Colgate versus a Texas. Has won, a 15 has won at least both the last couple of years. I'm checking the next one now. Well, which one's it going to be? Colgate, Princeton, Catamounts, or Unka? If anybody could be upset, it would probably be Marquette. I'm saying it's the, that I like the UNCA team. They're one of the best three-point shooting teams in the nation. 
Right. And they're going to have to shoot a lot of threes when they're down by 20. <laughs> and, 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 they, and they won their conference. They won their conference tournament, too. Obviously. Ought to have been. Mm, that's tough. Man. I think, honestly, like, this is kind of a really weird year of, of basketball. No real elite squads. Does that make sense? There's a lot of there's a lot of potential for this bracket just to be completely just atrocious. You Destroyed. Know what I mean? Yeah, I already think my bracket's busted. But you know what? There's always a time for a clown car bracket, you know what I mean? One that just allows you to pick base stuff like coin flips. And generally those do pretty well. But I'm gonna move on. I'm happy with where I'm at. So Are let's go back, back up to Alabama? the South region. Uh, round of 32, Alabama versus Emma. Maryland. Bama. Alabama wins. Yep, Alabama. UVA, San Diego. Oh, did I, I change Alabama. this one? Alabama. Alabama. Did I change this one? I can't change this one, okay? I have to stick with what I picked initially, right? Okay, that's fair. I'm going to make up the rules. What? I make up the rules. Oh, okay. But I think... Huh. Who's the coach of San Diego State? Is it still, like... Fisher, the dude that used to be the Michigan coach? Or did he retire a long time ago? Ugh. I don't like having a 60% keyboarder, keyboard for typing. Brian, Brian Dutcher. Dutcher. Brian Dutcher enters the 60s and as it's got... I got you should do a women's bracket. Mm, I don't know anything about the women's teams other than it's probably going to be UConn or Stanford or Baylor. Uh, South Carolina. South Carolina, the number one team. They'll just win it. There's like no disparity there. Alabama beats Maryland. Bye bye, Maryland. Crab cakes and football. That's what Maryland does. All right. College of Charleston, UVA. UVA moves on. Oh, this is tough because if I had San Diego State, I don't know which one I would do. Know what I mean? So I've got UVA with a 3-3, a BPI rank 22nd, 15-5 conference. Uh, you know, it's pretty obvious to me. I don't know. I think UVA is uh, a little bit, uh, I think it's handleable. Handleable. Baylor, aren't they notorious for getting upset? Usually. So at this point, like, we've already gone through and reasoned everything for what teams we like and what teams we don't like. And at this point, you're starting to throw up a 50-50 coin, right? And so what I'm thinking, 14-6 and six in the conference, 11-7 and seven in the conference, notable win-loss, UConn, Texas. I think... Uh, oh, God. No, um, that so loss by 26, have... though, that hurts. Baylor basically either loses in the second round, loses in the Sweet 16, or they won the Natty in 2021. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, they're better than Creighton, right? Uh, I mean, I'm going, Cray I'm going Creighton. I'm going, going Creighton. I'm going Creighton. I'm going Creighton. I have come into this feeling really good about the, the Jays. And so I'm going to stick with the Jays. Jays. Usu versus Arizona. Do they have any heads head up? Mm. Yeah, I'm bringing the rematch. I'm bringing the Zona Creighton rematch. That was a two point game. I'm bringing it back. Zona Creighton yeah. rematch. Zona Creighton One by rematch. Two. Oh two my God. It's storybook. It's storytelling. Bring bro. it back. Oh my God! Welcome to the Sweet Sixteen: Alabama, UVA, Creighton, and Arizona. As we move down to Purdue versus Memphis, is this where the number one seed gets bounced? Nah. Two and three, or, or, or is Zach Eady, the literal college cheat code, going to take over this over this squad? Oh God, Purdue's not getting bounced here. They're not. Yeah. They're not. I finished get, my bracket. Not okay. get, I, I got you. Let's let's hold on. We'll talk about your grab back as soon as I'm done. We'll do our final four matchups. Uh, I'm sticking with Purdue. I'm gonna go Purdue. Zach Eady is the cheat code. He's my man. Duke Tennessee. Wow. Now here's a matchup. My dad is calling me right now. Hang on. Hey Poppy, are you watching my bracketology Twitch stream? 
I've got a question for you. In the round of 32, I have Duke facing off against Tennessee. What's your take? You want Tennessee over Duke? And what, what's your analysis? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. They play, they play hard. They play hard. Tennessee plays hard. But never give up on Duke. But I, I, I don't know. I picked Tennessee. I haven't done a bracket yet. I, I haven't okay. even thought about it. Why well, sent you? The, that's why I'm calling because I did watch the bracketology or the or the the bracket tonight CBS. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I did. And the other thing I wanted to talk about was in relation to that was the game this afternoon between Penn State and Purdue. Did you watch it? I did. Oh, Unbelievable, dude. huh? Dude, seventeen down. Mm -hmm. In the second half, they come back within two, three seconds left to go in regulation. Absolutely. Spoiler I, alert to anybody that didn't watch that game. Absolutely love that coach. Absolutely love that team. I'm going to root for him the whole way. But so you think Penn some, State's your sleeper? But for some reason, mm -hmm. with 3.3 seconds left, that they have the ball timeout, they've got inbounds on their court. Oh, I saw it. And they're two points. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking to myself, dude, this is the thing you got to do. You got to pass it to somebody who turns around and drives to the basket for a layup. Mm -hmm. That's all you got to do. Mm -hmm. Two things are going to happen. You're either going to get fouled or you're going to make the shot and it'll go into overtime. Mm -hmm. Right? And they shoot free throws. Fuck, they're almost 100%. Mm -hmm. Right? So what do they do? He throws it to a guy at the three-point line who bobbles it and tries to shoot a three-point. Yeah, oh, nobody got open. They were trying to throw it beyond the arc and oh. they're, and they're, they're out-of-bounds play spectacularly oh, failed. Oh, man. It was a heartbreaker. It was, it was I, awful. But, dude watched every one of their games in the in the in the big 10 tournament mm -hmm. and they are oh, they are just a, they never give up and shoot the lights out from three and they play a hell of a defense so live and die by the three i guess but i'll tell you what i'm gonna root for them and i can't believe that they only scored a 10 seed in the tournament Penn to State. Me, I mean, yeah they beat five, that was five quad wins in the big 10 tournament I have a I have another question for you because one of the people that I'm guesting the show with tonight uh, has a team that I think both you and I can agree should have made the tournament, and that is Rutgers. Do you think yeah, Rutgers, Rutgers should have made the tournament? Yeah, that's what's missing. I was trying to figure out who the hell was missing from their fucking thing, and Rutgers is missing. You're right. Absolutely, absolute yeah. garbage. They got hosed. Yeah. Yeah. They got hosed. I, so I don't understand why they went in and Maryland didn't. I mean, Maryland did. Hey, FG, are you hearing this? I am hearing this. I love it. He's, my dad's as smart as you and I. Sometimes, <laughs> yeah, sometimes he's smarter, and he's, he's, a, he's a hell of a commentary on this live show. Dude, <laughs> it's like phone a friend, right? <laughs> so my current dilemma is Duke versus Tennessee. Yeah, okay. And we've got... What's, what are they seated, by the way? Uh, five and four. Tennessee's oh, okay. four... Duke's five, 26 yeah. and eight, 23 and 10. Yeah. I'd give it to Tennessee. That'd be my, that'd be my pick. Mm, they've got better, they've got better wins than Duke. And I think it's a, oh, I also think it's Duke's uh, coach's first year after the devil yeah. retired. Yeah. Coach yeah. K. I mean, he literally looks like the devil. You yeah. know, he just does. So <laughs> I have, so now I've got in the sweet 16 in the South region, I've got Purdue meeting Tennessee after a close victory after Purdue beats Memphis. Oh, yeah, I think they'll take Memphis. That's going to be a close one, but I'd still pick Purdue over Tennessee, I think. All right. Well, we haven't yeah. gotten that far, but we will yeah. get there. Yeah. All right. Let's see here. UK, Kansas State University for a battle for the Sweet 16. Kentucky on a hot streak. Kansas State is a strong squad. I always, I always have always, always loved Kansas State. I don't know what it is. Is it uh, purple? Because, I mean, that's why I love no. them. No, no, it's just, I just think they're a gritty team. They never get the respect they deserve. They're also backed a by a stellar point. defense and a high-scoring duo of Keontae Johnson and Marquise Nowell. Uh, so I'm reading, yeah, the, I'm reading I, the ESPN breakdown. Yeah, I, no, I haven't watched them. I, I don't, I'm not familiar with their players. I'm not familiar with Kentucky's players mm -hmm. either, or even with how Kentucky's done this year. I, Ladies I, and I, gentlemen, I the pick is in. Kansas State downs UK for a trip to the Sweet 16. <laughs> Up next... Michigan State versus Marquette. Oh, now, clearly, no. this is going to be what a homer that? pick. Uh, round of 32. Three. Yeah. yeah. I have them oh. beating USC in the first round, depending on what time of day the game is. 
If, yeah. if it's an afternoon game for Michigan State, they'll still be asleep or hungover. Yeah, Marquette, that was a tough one. Yeah, I know, but like, here's the thing: Marquette's twenty-eight and six. They're seven and two against the top twenty-five. They have one of the hardest schedules, and they're seventeen and three in the conference, and they score yeah. a lot of freaking points. Yeah, they lost, yeah. but they lost to Purdue by five. We lost to them by twice. Uh, let's see here. They have a two-two-one against Buchan Baylor. Beat them by twenty-six. Creighton won twice. All right, bye-bye, Sparty. Tom Izzo, <laughs> welcome to the next class. Yeah, Maybe you you'll be good. What's up, hot dog? Why do you why are you chatting in my chat? I'm not in yeah, here in Discord. I'll, 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 I'll go play some. I'll no. let you go. Um, I have no idea. You're the Michigan State now? games. At well, I've got. I'm doing two guest stars in my stream, and then everybody okay. else is chatting what they All want, right. and so you're well, you're I'm, the guest too. I'm yeah. Well. Your guest is about to leave. Okay. And uh, let me look at the brackets and. Uh, I sent you. One. I sent you a yeah, link and the password to it. It's a yeah. private group. I know. I saw that. Great. All right. Thanks. Cool. Just making sure. All right. All right. Love you, you, Dad. Bye. Love you. Bye. 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 I'll go the. I'll go the family man. Let's go. Anyway, I'll go. I was, I was trying yeah. to tell you. Um, okay, go ahead. Michigan. Michigan State games at twelve o'clock. It's at noon. Yeah. Where? Friday. Friday. And it's at. Oh no. Against USC? I don't know where it's at, but it looks like Michigan State's the home team for it. God damn it. I'm still going Sparty. I'm going to say go green, go white, and they get knocked off by Marquette. Is that a fair assessment? Does everybody agree? Friday at 12.15, Michigan State, USC. God damn. Kim's not going to pick them then. Because that's Kim's advice. Kim's advice for is always like if Michigan State plays before or plays any noon game, they might as well just n- not even go. You know what I mean? Like, they just don't play well during the day. They never have. But still think USC shouldn't be in the tournament. I still think Rutgers should be. So I'm going to pick Michigan State, but I don't see Michigan State beating Marquette. Marquette. Although Joey Hauser is a former Marquette um, player. I'll go. Mm-hmm. It's okay because I'm doing it for you. I have Michigan State beating Marquette. Yeah, John, but you go like my bracket. I feel like you're gonna like it. I feel like I might, but it's it's too soon things. to tell. Did I just make you flip? Yep. <laughs> Look, I said that I could be swayed. I just need to be sold. What you can't, can't you can't tell you me that. you can't tell me I can't pick my boys. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Houston, I Houston, that. Iowa. This is going to be an interesting matchup. If 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 we make I'll the Sweet play. 16, which we won't, Tom Izzo won't be on the hot seat. If you don't, we don't make the Sweet 16 hot seat. <clears throat> Houston, Iowa. Houston, Obviously, Iowa. Houston's the best team in the in the country, but Iowa can score in a flurry of points. There you go. That's Houston my a good defense. They yeah, how many wins by nineteen? They're only allowing fifteen six points a game. Mm-hmm. But they only play. Yeah, they only played the top twenty five twice. Or Houston so all day, every day. Country though. Look, and that's coming from an Iowa fan. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think Iowa could hang a hundred on their ass. <laughs> so the, the the results are in. The verdict is in. Algo takes Houston. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I wanted to pick Jimmy's Iowa. He's an unbiased guy, man. I like him. Uh, Jimmy <laughs> is sitting there with a two-hearted and a blunt. And you know what? I have no more respect than that. Like that's like that's the epitome of my bad. He's a badass. He's just like just badassery right there. He said we may not even be there. Oh, after Auburn. <laughs> He's like, shit, we're gonna lose to Auburn? Well, this is mine. Jimmy. It's mine. All right, Miami, uh, Indiana. I think Indiana. Oh, God, this is getting exciting. This is getting exhausting. Right. Oh, see, see, I have my Drake, uh, my Drake team winning. <laughs> yeah, over Miami, your Durkies. Let's go Drake. Let's go Durkies. Let's go Durky. Uh, I'm picking Indiana. Let's go. All right, ISU Xavier. Uh, let's see. We got to go Xavier. Sorry. Bye bye. Yeah. Texas AM versus Texas. This one's a toss up. We're going Texas. Wow. You don't have Penn State then. I forgot. Mm, no, my dad really likes Penn State. Apparently, right. co- of course, it's Gesta. 
But I think me and hot dog gonna ride that one. Which one are you gonna ride or die on this one? Penn State? Uh no, nah, yeah, Penn State. You got Penn, you got Penn State University over Texas uh, A&M? It's, it's, it's the next closest fucking university to Princeton who's definitely not going to win, so. <laughs> Which one? Colgate? Nah, Penn State's like the next closest to my house other than Princeton. And they're Wait, you're trying to sway win. me? Are you trying to sway me? You trying to sway me, Penn State over A&M? Penn State is the only one who stole our spot in the tournament that I'm okay with stealing our spot right, in the flopped. tournament. Penn State. Flopped, you bastard. I need another upset anyways. Your dad even said Penn State. I know, but they're not beating Texas. So I'm still happy with that pick. They might beat Texas, though. <laughs> they almost beat Purdue. Think about that. <laughs> Done. God, I'm so soft. Let's put some Bud Lights in my belly. I'm good to go. Uh, you think Penn on. State has what it takes to make the Sweet Sixteen? Mm-hmm. Okay, by far done. What the fuck is it? Hold on, fucking done. No, fuck you. No, fucking done. Here it is. I'm fucking Wait. done. It's it. No. It's done. What I want it. Uh, Texas tournament history: lost in the second round, lost in the first round, lost in the first round, lost in the first round, lost in the second round. <laughs> They're pretty bad. Um. Well, this. What if this is their year? I don't like Texas's clutch, man. No, clearly they, they, they don't have the clutch factor. They haven't made the elite eight since Kevin Durant played for them. They haven't done anything since Vince Young. Just saying. Well, Kevin Durant. But I don't still. care. I no, no. I'm just saying that myself. I haven't watched a Texas game since Vince Young, and Colt McCoy wasn't it. So just so we're clear. There All you right. go. Look, <laughs> Jimmy says Xavier has ex Iowa Hawkeye Jack Nunge. I'm going, I'm going Xavier at- over Iowa State. He's just making a case for the for the school he hates, but that's fine. Um, I'm, I guess we're going Penn State Sweet Sixteen. Let's do it. Why not? Let's move on to the Jones. West. Kansas versus Illinois. Uh yeah, you, you can't you can't root against the cheater Bill self. You just can't. He is so cheat. I mean, he cheats. He cheats so much. I it's can root against him. But Illinois stole our spot, so fucking. yeah. But I'm sorry, not changing. Sorry, I'm not changing that one. Sorry, Specter. ISU just dismissed a player a week or so too. ISU Iowa State did. Well, they're I've moved them. You know, to the to the. They're gone. They're they're just done. Virginia Commonwealth University versus UConn. <clears throat> yeah, clearly UConn. Oh, All right, TCU Gonzaga. Gonzaga. How do you want to say? I think Drew Timmy is a little too much for TCU. I'm not sure that TCU is quite caliber of the program that's going to be able to handle a Zags team. Uh, that was... Imagine I'm I'm not picking this, but imagine if TCU made both national championship games and got blown out. Ooh, that would be funny. I I did say that I was I picked TCU over the playing game because you can't root against Jesus. I did say that. I have that on file. Northwestern mm. versus UCLA. Clearly, this is going to. I mean, God, is Northwestern good? Like, is Northwestern? Really UNC Asheville is going to make a Cinderella Sweet 16 run. That's what I'm saying. Right, is your bracket done? Yeah. Uh, I've been going slow answer. because I've just been talking. I'm, I'm sorry. Did you guys want I, me to I'm go faster? The big guy here. The big guy. I'm not, I'm not very big. Big man on campus. I'm 5'7. I'm not big. <laughs> I ain't tall, but I'm strong. Let's but, go. I, I, I'll go. You said one of you won Zach Eddy in basketball. <laughs> he could could swap me with his kneecap (laughs) he could hip check my my layup (laughs) i don't i don't even know if i have a big enough teardrop to shoot it over him even if he was at the (laughs) basket Okay there, guy. All right. So I ended up going UCLA uh, Gonzaga Bulldogs. Um, I just think that, you know, the... A club. 
Is it your first time here in Ukla? Ukla. Okay, so we're, we're going down to the Elite Eight. Alabama versus University of uh, Alabama's Mama. clearly the number one team, but mm. UVA has a stifling defense. You know, Alabama barely an hour. Uh, oh my god, they score a lot of points. I gotta go Bambers. Creighton oh, versus man. Zona. Uh, we kind of have to take Arizona. Bye bye, Jays. They lost by two the first time. Dubsky on a neutral site. Neutral site Dubsky for Creighton? Neutral site Dubsky. <laughs> you can use these in your own streams, folks. Be be my guest. You can use whatever they you see here. They will not lose by two this time. It's a Dubsky. It's a Dubsky. UConn win loss. Texas loss. Arizona lost to two. But they're a 12-loss squad. Why? They're playing at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. Because they're the Jays, bro. They had to play Marquette twice. They had to play Xavier three times. Four of their losses are those two teams. I right, fuck it. I've been I've been ride or die with Creighton. I'm sorry. I'm ride or die with Creighton. This was the team that I wanted to go through. The Jays. The Jays move on. The Jays are in. He's got freighting. Freighting's gonna win, guys. Hmm. All right. Let's see. Crating. I like freighting too. I got freighting. <laughs> freighting FTW. Is this Frating's the game good. that sends Purdue home? Yes. Bang, bang. Does Tennessee bang, have bang. a player tall enough to take on or fast enough to take on Zach Eady to tire him out? Mm-hmm. How Doug, where you at? What's up? I need you to get I need you to get on the stat board and start Googling shit. Like what? Uh, who, which one? Tennessee. Do they have a big presence to take on Zach Eady in town and in company? I mean, according to your bracket, I mean Tennessee, they're pretty good. According to my bracket, for me, I don't have them making it far. Do you not have them making it this far? Do you have Purdue making it this far? Nope. Nope. You don't. Uh, you have Purdue losing I, to I, Memphis. I, okay, he just I, like I, super low seeds. It's all good. Yeah. No. It's, I, I know I he's mem- picking I Memphis taking it to the final four against. Alabama. That's your that's your ride or die, Memphis. Memphis. I like Memphis is your ride or die. Houston. I got you. I got you. Yo. Like okay. All right. Give me some some takes. On yours, my bracket, and now, well, I mean, I kind of gotta go pee, but I know I'm midstream, but you know, it is what it is. And I'm kind of <laughs> thinking, I want to know who your ride or die is and why, and I want to know what FG, who FG's ride or die is. And I'm my ride or die back. is gonna be Alabama. Produce some content for me, I'll be back in 20 seconds. Okay, FG, what do you think about? I'm gonna tell you my champion, I have Alabama winning, <laughs> I have them losing the championship. Uh, please don't. I have Kansas in the championship, though. That's the thing. Um, mm, see, but it's Houston, though. I, I have him. In, I have Houston and Kansas in the final four. It's the Cougs. I got Houston and UConn. Houston and UConn Houston. knocks out Kansas. Houston knocks out Kansas. No, UConn knocks out Kansas. U- UConn knocks out Kansas in the Elite Eight. That's what mm-hmm. UConn That's what knocking 16. out Gonzaga, too. You can't knock it out, VCU. You can't knock it out, VCU. Okay. All right, all right. Who do you have in the Sweet 16 for the the bottom left, the East? And uh, know. let's see. Tennessee over Purdue and Kentucky over Michigan State. Kentucky over Michigan State. Man, our bracket. Tennessee over really Kentucky. Good. Tennessee. I have Memphis going all the way through. I have and Bama I have over Tennessee. State. It's like an all SEC. <laughs> I like I like the SEC. So. I got Houston winning. All right, let's see here. I'm back. Sorry, right, maybe a little longer than how, 20 how seconds. Hey, Algo, how was it like 30 seconds ago when you were midstream? I mean, it was productive. What happened? What did I miss? We set our picks for the whole tournament. Did you? Hot dog doesn't like my bottom left. He doesn't like your bottom <laughs> left at all. All right. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'll go. You'll know. I'll go. You'll know. I'll tell you when you're done with yours. Right. I want to convince you. So, so Algo, you should 
completely fuck up the bottom left because me and hot dogs are completely different. So mm-hmm. you should be completely different than ours. So we're all completely different. That's going to be the difference of who wins. Because <laughs> everything else is kind of close. Last year, I'm actually curious. Let me check something. Let me try to open up a different tab. I want to see what I did last year. <laughs> That's how you're going to fuck it up, Algo? <laughs> Am I fucking it up properly? I'm as you to win everything. <laughs> am, I, am, I, am I different than you guys right here? See, see, the funny thing, Algo, is I have MSU losing to Kentucky and then Kentucky losing to Tennessee to get to the Final Four. <laughs> well, at least I'm not looking at the same brackets you guys are. No, you are not. Okay, cool. Well, I'm going to ride or die with MSU. you going to ride or die with MSU? No. Oh, God. No, not really. Oh God. No. <laughs> All right, where are we at now? I think that's. I think we're where we need to be. No, we're not. We need to go back up here. Houston, Indiana, Houston. Good job. Xavier, Penn State. Xavier, good job. Uh, Kentucky, you. Uh, uh, Kansas, great job, Bill Self. Cheating son of a bitch. Maybe you'll get fired next year. Gonzaga, UCLA. Ooh, this is a good one. We got ourselves a good one. Gonzaga allows points. That, that's like last year. That's a, that's mm-hmm. a rematch from a couple years ago. Yo, look where that game's going to be played at the KFC Yum Center. Oh, I've been there. <laughs> You've been to the Yum Center? I have. I have been. I went there for a technology conference years was ago. Was it yummy? I mean, it was Yum Brands. <laughs> they own KFC, Taco Bell. They name one. They, they, that's Yum Brands Center. Yum. That's, a, that's in Louisville. And it's not called Louisville, by the way. If you were from the South, it's called Louisville. Everything's Vol in the South. Vol. Louisville. Well, guess what? Nashville. You know where I'm from, and it isn't the fucking South. <laughs> it's the East Coast. <laughs> I lived nine years in Nashville, Tennessee. It's still Nashville. It's not Nashville, but it is Louisville. Nashville. You know, it's Nashville. It's Nashville. <laughs> Nashville, <laughs> Tennessee. Everything. Everything yeah. with a bill now will now be bull. Yep, bull. Bull, bull. Yeah, bull. No, We're green bull. Cut it off. No bill. bill. Well, I'm going to green bull. <laughs> going to Asheville. Ah, that's taking a... UNC Asheville to win the whole thing. The Illuminati? Yeah, it is the Illuminati for sure. If well, it's, uh, why is this one. not the same? Why is this not the same team? How do you pick one of these? It's like the same team. UCLA okay. plays better defense, scores less points. It's, Gonzaga it's plays terrible defense and freaking scores a lot of points. But we almost beat Gonzaga. Yeah, but Gonzaga smacks Bama around. Mm. And I had MSU. MSU almost beat Gonzaga. Let's so go on Zags. Let's so go on Zags. Was that not the obvious uh-huh. choice? No choice is obvious at this point. Okay, great. So we're good. I'm off the hook here. Yeah, you're off. Right, we got Alabama Creighton. Son of a bitch. For a spot in the final four. Oh, what the yeah. hell is going on? Oh, God. You're bragging. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this was my logical ascension into hell. I like mine. We've been, we're doing a bracket stream, J Bug. This was a, a specific one. We do the stream one time a year. Specifically on Selection Sunday, uh, generally Hot Dog and I, but we decided to invite FG into the mix, and then my dad made a guest appearance with a phone call, uh, and he's a big fan of Penn State. Uh, and then uh, we came down to our Selection Sunday, and this is where we're at: Alabama, Creighton, Bama, Bama, mm-hmm. Bama, Creighton. Great fucking run, great run. Love you guys. Great run for him. We're Never we're watched family. a game. At all of your team whatsoever this year. Excellent run. It's time for you to go. Way to go, bro. Why the hell do they make? Oh, there it is. There it is. Final four. You filled it out. Psh. Fucking dude. Now, this is where I have to pick Purdue or MSU. Final four. <laughs> That's what you got, bud. I mm-hmm. mean, this is amazing. I mean, I'm so smart. Me and FG have very similar championship games. <clears throat> oh, sorta, sorta, not really. <laughs> sorta, not really. We lost twice to Purdue. I'm sure we all have. We all have. We're gonna make it the trifecta. We'll the make, we're gonna make it the trifecta of losses to Purdue. 
Oh, okay, cool. We have no answer for Zach Edie. We just don't. The only time we can only time we can score against that team is when he's out. We just don't have a we don't have a big No, we just don't have a big that can handle that kind of that kind of sheer girth, you know? I mean he's he's a girthquake down low. Thick boy. <laughs> it's just, just trunks, bro. Just just dude, it's over. He's just thick, bro. I, I just keep rolling, scrolling around. Now I'm just, I think the beer is getting in the way of, of my logic. Xavier versus Houston. Basically all number one seeds. Yeah, pretty much. Because this, they're the best teams. And there's. Houston right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm going Xavier. Oh, he's not going to want out. I was fucking kidding. Of course I'm going Houston. Knock it out. Oh, I thought he was going to knock out the best team in the country. What? And this is where I'm going to defer from your number one seed. Going Gonzaga. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, your final four Alabama, Purdue, Houston, and Gonzaga. I give you your final four. The question is where do I go with this? Three ones is a boo? Are you just kidding me? Like. What teams are good in college basketball anymore? All the really good players go to the D League and then try to play for Dallas Mavericks and Mark Cuban. Ah, damn. Tough, rough crowd out here, huh? Yeah, right. Alabama versus Purdue. Mammer. Welcome to the Natty, Purdue. What? Mm hmm. It's Welcome to the collegiate game. cheat code. And Zach Eady, and them not ever playing anybody like Zach Eady and struggling mightily to get you know, that, anything that done. That team lost to Rutgers. I know, but it's just, I'm throwing love your way, technically. The Rutgers in the championship. No <laughs> shot. <laughs> Rutgers. That means we could be there. We could. You could. If you got in, but didn't we agree with you that that you if were all host? these old fuckers that sit around a round table would have a brain. well? The Illuminati is sitting over there, <laughs> you know, trying to figure it out. Purdue, welcome to the national championship where you will square up with the Gonzaga Bulldogs. <laughs> Drew Timmy versus Zach Eady, the dream matchup of bigs. If there ever was a dream matchup of two big men playing against each other, it would be Manute Bull versus Kevin Durant. Anybody remember Manute Bull? <laughs> Anybody? Oh, Yao Ming. Let's take Yao Ming versus... It's Yao Ming versus Kevin Durant right here. Check. Mm. Purdue Gonzaga. That's what I've got. Who we got winning the yeah. natty? Ladies and gentlemen... I want to tell you that after a couple Bud Lights and no intelligence, I believe taking home the 2023 National Championship is your Gonzaga Bulldogs. What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> and a final score. He likes them dogs. 83. 74. Done. Uh, you want to hear my bracket? You want to hear our bracket? Yeah, we're about to get to your brackets. Let me uh, let me finish this up. Do I need to enter the accurate attorney challenge sweep, guys? Do we need to do that? No. no. If you want to. I mean, should I not? Oh, then I get to share things with people? No, thanks. Congratulations. Your picks have been saved. Create another bracket. Not happening. Now, I don't know if I can look at your bracket. Can I? Actually, I can bring up your bracket because you guys are both in my league. Yeah, I believe you can. So let's, who wants to start? After you take it all. Has he submitted his bracket? Mm-hmm. Okay, hang on. Let's go to my group. I did submit. You can't, if you no, guys no, want, no. if you guys want in this group, guys, all you have to do is exclamation bracket. He has Gonzaga finally winning that elusive natty. Under the final year of Drew Timmy. 
Is it gonna let you look? Cause it, it hasn't the tournament hasn't started yet. I don't know if it's gonna let you. Hang on. Hot dog. Yeah, we got not. ESPN fan. My dad's in here now. Uh, yeah, click on me. I got you. Take on me. Shoot. No, not gonna let me see it. No, because yeah. they think I'm gonna cheat off you. Like it's some sort of fifth grade test. Because the fifth grade, the me. fifth grade was the hardest three years of my life, man. Uh, wait a minute. How about this? Can I? <laughs> can I? No, the humor is gonna go right over your head, huh? I get you. I can screenshot it and then put it in the Discord, but I don't know if you can like zoom in because in order to get it in one shot, it's gonna be mm -hmm. relatively tiny. That's what she said. Um, hey yo, <laughs> the screen share. You can screen share. You could just screen share in Discord. What's that? This you mean funnier? Yeah, exactly. Uh, I just sent it to you. I don't know if you can zoom it. Hang on one second. Technology is difficult. Technological mm. advancements. You're damn right I can. I have the technology. Ladies and gentlemen, oh. we are not doing a side-by-side -side comparison, but we got a Bammer, West Virginia. Bammer going into the Sweet 16. Bammer playing Creighton. Wow, that we didn't miss a line there very much. You got Charleston beating San Diego State. Smart man. Virginia beating Furman. Uh, let's see here. Virginia beating. Okay, okay. But we pretty much the same right there. Creighton Baylor. Creighton over Baylor. Arizona and Creighton beating Zona. So we have the same matchup right there. Nice. I wasn't lying. No, I said I, they were going to win. I wasn't lying. Oh, we got that Tennessee. No we got, oh, beat. we got Kentucky beating Michigan State in the rematch. Okay. Okay. Doggo, I got you. Oh, I sent you mine for next. I sent you, you mine. Did you send the screenshot? Yeah, it's two okay. separate screenshots. So. Super. So we're over here. Oh, sorry, but... All right. So we've got Houston and Iowa. Houston moving on. Houston versus Penn State. You like Penn State like my dad does. Wow. Wow. Your dad convinced me. I'm, he's not wrong. If I've got Purdue Penn in the State. final and Penn State damn near beat them, then they should have a shot. <clears throat> Xavier, Penn State, Houston, Penn State. Okay. And I'm sorry, I'm trying to go real fast past your daddy because I'm just trying to look at what we got. We got UConn, Gonzaga. We got UConn beating Gonzaga. We got UNC Asheville all the way to the Sweet 16. Asheville. Ash Vol. You gotta have that 15 Cinderella matchup. Oh my god, you gotta have Boise State beating Northwestern? Ukla losing to USC. Oh, this is this is the upset. Upset. What's up, Gates? How you doing, homie? And so we've got in the final four, Alabama beating Tennessee, Houston, and Yukon. Houston winning your national title by three points over Alabama. That is a safe, safe final. And not a bad one. A very, very good fight. With the Natty cutting down the nets and saying F you to the rest of the world. Houston. I like it, boss. That's a smart bracket. Oh, thank you, sir. You're welcome. Well, let's look at hot I'm dogs because we are about to roast this guy. Where's well, the three, like four separate screenshots, probably? So no. Oh my god, you did. You made me do build it out. You really? It wouldn't let me do, let me do this. Oh. Hang on. How am I supposed to? Let's do one screenshot at a time. All right, hang on. We got can open it up as a PNG. We're good. All right, we're gonna go to your top South bracket. Bama, West Virginia. Bama moves on. San Diego State, Virginia. Virginia moves on. Alabama beats Virginia. Arizona comes out of the two spot, beats Missouri, Mizzou, Creighton, Baylor. Creighton beats Baylor. Apparently, you guys are influenced by my Jays love. That's wild. And on the other side of the bracket, we have Houston running all the way down to the Elite Eight versus Penn State. Do you guys are all in Penn State? My dad is very, very persuasive. Not going to lie. I just like Penn State. I, I know, right? Game. I like Penn State, too. I watch the game as well. Texas. <clears throat> Always loses in the first and second round, so you picked a quality. Xavier versus Penn State. You have Penn State doing that. Now I got to go find the... The bottom, the bottom's where, it's get, where it gets interesting. Right, but I got to get there. 
<laughs> it gets interesting. Yeah. FG, FG likes my bottom left, let me tell you. You got your bottom left. So this? Purdue yeah. versus Memphis. Memphis. Oh, you like my bottom left. I like your bottom right. <laughs> uh, Purdue. <laughs> uh, Memphis beating Purdue. Tennessee uh, beating Duke. Or as I call them, puke. We've got Michigan State losing to Marquette. Uh, Kansas State beating Marquette. Okay, so we got a Memphis, Kansas State. That's realistic. We've got uh, UNC Asheville. What? You guys are so yes. high. You both picked the same team to move that far as a 15 seed? He's That's got crazy. the magic. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I'm so silly. I love you, though. That's awesome. All right, Kansas, UConn. Kansas moving on to Gonzaga, and that's where we have. We have Kansas, Gonzaga, Kansas State, and Memphis. Now I got to go back to his 17th. Listen, listen now, though. If me and Hot Dog want to bond over the fact that UNC Asheville is going to make a Cinderella run to the tourney, then I think us, he's okay? just trying to make you happy. <laughs> All right. And ladies and gentlemen, we've got Alabama versus Memphis in the final four in eight seed. Woo, hot take. Hot take for Memphis to be in that final four. And Real Houston, hot. Kansas. We've got Kansas playing Bama. Oh, God. What a fucking snooze fest that would be. Oh, my God. What a fucking snooze fest. That is just like the, the, the biggest boring final that I could have ever imagined. Bill Self versus. I'm only so saying. Good. No, you're I'm fine. I, I, I don't think it's a bad pick. I don't. I think it's great. And you got Alabama cutting down the nets, you, huh? You didn't see my Kent State pick, did you? No, because I was trying to go quick through this. Because we've been live now for hours. And I don't even know how we're supposed to top what we're going to do. Kent State is going to go super far. Kent State is the team to go super far? Yeah, it, it looks like my top my Houston part of the bracket. Hang on, which part of the bracket is it, homie? Is it the top, top bracket? Yeah, okay. Top oh, oh, okay. Okay, we opened the link. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We opened the link. We figured it out. Okay. Okay. Oh, we have Kent State. We have Kent State. We have Kent State beating Indiana. Eh? And then Kent State calls and moves and beats Miami. Uh, okay, so then Kent State moves on and plays Houston and doesn't win. Really? Why is Kent State so good? Have you seen their games? That's no, good. I don't watch Kent State. Look them up. Look them up. Look, look up okay, there. hang on. Shit, man. Chill. 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 He said, look them up. Lock him up. Man, how? That game's at 10 p.m. now on a Friday night. All right, on a Friday night. <laughs> the Friday night. Oh my god. What is, so that's what anybody going to say? Like Miami. I, For the first time in six years, Kent State's men's basketball team is headed to the NCAA tournament, and now we know who they will be playing. The Golden Flashes have earned a 13th seed in the 68-team brackets Midwest region. Their first-round opponent will be four-seed Indiana, with the game taking place in Albany, New York. No, don't need my location. I'll go home. I'll send you something. I'm going to send you something in the chat real quick. What is that? You're fine. I'm just trying to find any any reason. Kent, Kent State lost to Houston by five. Serious? In a game in a game that ended forty nine to forty four. <laughs> what? Sad <laughs> ass. Uh, they lost to the College of Charleston, also in this tournament, by two points, and they lost to Gonzaga by six on the road, seven on the road. So Kent State's legit. Houston was on the road as well. And so was Charleston. Where was so the where was this the where was this analysis happening when I pit didn't pick Kent State to beat Illinois or Indiana? Is it just because I homered Indiana I mean, too hard? I picked Kent State to beat Indiana. I just didn't pick them to beat my Dirk. You're what? I like Dirk. Oh, you're Dirk? Yeah, Dirk. <laughs> Dirks? <laughs> you did you were picking up a to beat the Durkies? Uh, Landon's yeah, out here. Keep sending me freaking messages on Instagram. I haven't even looked at Instagram at all during this stream. Sorry, dude. <clears throat> Told you. Kent State's going to be very far. Who do you have in your final four, Jay Gates? Chat, who do you guys have in your final four?
We are coming up here on an hour and 55 minutes on the Bracketology stream. Uh, I am not done streaming for the evening. So the question is, I do want to end the stream so that I don't ruin uh, the YouTube that this is going to. And uh, secondly, I think we all should hang out a little bit longer and talk some football. So would you guys be willing to just hang out and chat while I end the stream and restart it? Would you be cool with that? Yeah. That way we can say what we really mean and how offensive we all really are. Would that be okay with you guys? Oh, lovely. I'm not saying we're right. good. Yeah, I mean, we've been offensive enough, I think. Uh, riding with MSU as a Michigan fan, that's the kind of way you got to roll with me, Landon. You're, not a, you're a good dude. You know what? We, what we should do is we should end this stream so that I can post it to the YouTube. And then what I should come back is with some PGA Tour golf. Would uh, FG be willing to do some PGA Tour golf tonight? Trying to get your ass kicked again? Yep. Okay. Great. All right, guys. Hang out and chat for just a second. It is 1059. I'm going to stop, change the title. And as I said, Zag's trimming down the nets. See you in about two minutes.